Welcome to HKBU Finance Concentration. Now, my name is Astrofel. I'm the Finance Concentration Coordinator. Now, let me talk about the structure of this presentation. I will spend about 10 minutes talking about, give you a brief introduction about the finance industry, as well as the curriculum of our program. Then today, I've invited Mr. Felix Tang, okay, who, who just graduated from HKBU this year. He is now working as working in the private wealth management industry. Okay, uh, he will share with you his experience as a HKBU student. Now, let's start with the highlight of the Hong Kong finance industry. Now, Hong Kong is an international financial center. Based on the latest survey from the Global Financial Center Index, Hong Kong ranked among the top five leading global financial center. According to the survey, Hong Kong actually received very high ranking in terms of business environment as well as human capital. So from here, we can see that Hong Kong finance industry is actually able to attract a lot of top talent from, a lot, from around the world okay, to join the industry. Hong Kong also received top ranking for IPO funds raised in six out of the last 10 years. The next IPO will be China N Group, and this has the potential to be the largest IPO worldwide. Hong Kong is also num Asia number one international fund management hub. Now, in fact, Hong Kong is the largest international private wealth management center in Asia. Okay, Felix is from the private wealth management industry. Okay, he can talk more about that later. Next, Hong Kong Stock Exchange is the sixth largest in the world by market capitalization. Now, this is before the IPO of N Group. After the IPO of N Group, this ranking should go up further. Okay, there's a possibility, potential that the ranking can go up to as high as number two. Okay. Now, let's talk about the contribution of the Hong Kong finance industry to the economy of Hong Kong. There are four key industries in Hong Kong. Financial services, tourism, trading and logistics, professional services and other producer services. Now from this table, okay, you can see that financial services employed 6.8% of the workforce in 2018 and it contributed 19.7% of the GDP in Hong Kong. So from here, you can see that Hong Kong finance industry okay, actually contributes significantly to the economy of Hong Kong. These are examples of some of the sector in the Hong Kong finance industry, as well as some of the jobs available in the industry. Now, this is just some example. Okay, there are a lot more. Okay, there are a lot more other jobs in the finance industry. Now, now I will talk about the finance causes that we are offering in our program. Now, there are four required causes. Okay that you need to take if you are doing a first concentration in finance. These are the four required causes, investment management, introduction to futures and options market, fixed income securities, corporate finance. These four required causes will cover the key areas of finance. Now, besides taking the required causes, you will also need to take three finance elective causes. Now, these are the finance concentration elective courses that we are offering. Okay, so as you can see, there are a number of them. Okay, you just need to choose any three of them. Now, one of the features, okay, one of the features of our program is that we are constantly updating our curriculum based on the development of the market as well as the demand of the industry. For example, 
three years ago in 2017, we introduced this, this course, Compliance in Finance. Why? Because there is a demand for compliance professional in the industry. Last year, we introduced this new course, Financial Technology for Banking and Finance. This year, we incorporated blockchain into our program. Okay, the main, the main reason for that is because of the the main reason for that is because of the increase okay in the growing importance of fintech in the finance industry okay now hence okay you can see that we are constantly updating our curriculum okay to provide students okay with the most up-to-date and relevant financial knowledge in the finance industry now from a student perspective ultimately you want to get a job okay so from for our part besides equipping students with the relevant financial knowledge we are also providing a lot of opportunities for students to interact with the industry now this is important why because if you want to work in the industry you need to know what is happening in the industry so every semester okay every year we will organize activities where we actually invite professionals from the industry to talk to our students let's go through what are some of the activities that we have conducted over the past year now this is a seminar okay given by dr andres nuba now dr nuba Okay, before his retirement, he was the COO of UBS. COO, for those who are not familiar with this term, stands for Chief Operating Officer. UBS, this is a major international bank. Okay, now in the seminar, Dr. Nuber actually shared his experience, okay, working in the finance industry. Okay, now, in fact, okay, we managed to get Dr. Nuber to teach a course about management of financial institution okay in 2018 now just imagine you have the coo the top management of a bank okay mm -hmm. teaching students how to manage a bank so we believe that students can actually benefit a lot from such a such an exposure now this is a photo taken from a company visit to ubs during the company visit students actually were able to interact with the top management of the bank. Now, this is a sales and trading simulation workshop that we have conducted in 2018. Now, the same program here, okay, the same program here, no, this, a lot of, put it this way, okay, a lot of investment bank, okay, a lot of investment bank actually uses similar program, okay, to for their recruitment purposes as well as for training of their staff okay so we actually expose our students to all these different programs okay so that they are better prepared for the finance industry now this is a photo taken from a career seminar that we organized in 2018 in the seminar we actually invited a headhunter or a recruiter from the finance service industry to talk to the student on how they should prepare for the finance service industry okay so from all these activities you can see that we are okay we are constantly okay encouraging our student to interact with the society okay with the industry okay we believe that students can actually benefit a lot from all this interaction now, besides organizing all this workshop, we also encourage and support our students in other activities. For example, finance competitions. Okay, and so far our student has done very well in all these competitions, both local competitions as well as international competitions. For example, okay, 201920, we were the second runner up for the CFA Research Challenge okay in fact okay we were the hong, uh, hong kong champion for the same competition in 2017 and during that year 
okay, the students actually represented Hong Kong to compete with the rest of Asia. This is another competition, the okay, Asia Pacific Business Case Study Competition. Okay, our stu our school, okay, actually got the Hong Kong champion. We were also the second runner up for the Budding Value Investor Award 2019. Now, this is an international competition. The students actually flew to Malaysia for the final. Okay, so from all this example, okay, you can see that our students, okay, can actually compete with other students, not only in Hong Kong, but other parts of the world. And we will continue, okay, to support our students in all these activities. Okay, I will stop here now. Now I will pass the mic over to Mr. Felix Tang. Okay, as I've said before, uh, Felix was a HKBU student. He just graduated in 2020. He's currently working in the private banking industry. Okay, so he can talk to you, okay, and share to share with you his experience in the industry. Okay, Felix. Hi everyone, um, I'm Felix Tang. I'm a recent graduate from Hong Kong BU Finance Concentration and uh, right now I'm working as a uh, management trainee in the private bank. Uh, the current role was a, a relationship officer in the private bank. So uh, my usually uh, daily, job, daily job was to manage the high net worth clients portfolio and uh, to uh, network with them and to also do a lot of uh, reviews and loan stuff with them. Uh, so later I'm gonna share more with you all. Um, so uh, regarding to for regarding to the university's uh, uh, life, I got a really fruitful one I'm going to share with you all. So um, first of all, we'd like to talk about the five things in university. Uh, and I think you guys will know, you, you have heard about it. Uh, first thing is to study uh, all about GPAs and you also live in the dormitory, Juho, and then maybe some of you are going to part uh, got some romance stuff and uh, some of you may go for an exchange program to go around the world or maybe to earn some money and do some part-time job. But for the finance students, there are some five things that uh, a finance student should do. So first of all, of course, is study about the GPAs and all the knowledge you study in the course. Uh, the second thing is uh, also live in a dormitory because you're going to hone your interpersonal skills and to learn uh, how to network and how to uh, stay together with your peers. Of, of course, the, first, the third one will be uh, internships because uh, uh, you have to gain some more uh, working examples in the field. The fourth one would be the exchange. You're gonna go out and you look the, looked into the real world and the real uh, markets, what's going on out there. And the final and the foremost is the, uh, the case competitions. Uh, uh, you're gonna uh, investigate the companies and to do a lot of uh, research on that. So yeah, I, would like to in, uh, I would like to share some of my experience about these five uh, five points uh, during my universities. So about studying, I think uh, in BU is a good place for you to acquire the up-to-date knowledge and skill sets because uh, just mentioned by Dr. Chu, uh, our program is uh, really uh, practical and uh, lots of uh, courses are really related to the demands of markets. And also some of the professors and lecturers come from a really good uh, business background. So in class, apart from the theories and all the knowledge about finances, uh, we also talk about the practical and the real world uh, practice uh, that uh, we, we, we were gonna face when we come, come uh, go out to work. So I think there is a really good platform for you guys to uh, learn about the financial markets and all the uh, financial products. The second thing is uh, living in the dormitory. I think this is also a good thing you shouldn't miss because uh, living in the dorm, you can sharpen your interpersonal skills, you know, staying together with your peers uh, to 24 seven. It's not an easy task. And uh, during the year, you can also learn how to communicate and how to stay with, uh, keep a good relationship with others. So you can see in the photos uh, with these crazy boys, I spent a really fruitful year with them and it makes some like my friends, you know, uh, apart from finance, I also uh, love music very much. And like 
uh, when we got a leisure time, we will uh, play the guitar together, sing together, and which is a really uh, memorable time there. And I think the most important thing is to learn from the seniors. You know, in the dormitory, you will learn and also hear lots of sharings about the seniors. You can witness their failure and their success stories. So uh, for you, you can uh, plan ahead uh, when you are in year one and year two, you can have a more uh, clear mindset of how you're going to face in the future. So I think learning from a senior is also a, a point that you should uh, take notes on uh, when you are living in the dormitory. So the third thing will be the internships. Uh, I think Hong Kong BU is also a very good place for you to uh, grab lots of internship opportunities because uh, not only we work in locally in Hong Kong, but also we can work globally. Uh, for me, in my case, I actually work in London uh, in the National Church of Trust. So this is good for you to gain working experience globally and also to map your career path because after you try it for a very short period of time, you can like stay uh, what you like and what you don't like. So. Um, the first internship I've done is like uh, working in AIA as a wealth management intern. So at that uh, few months there, I have a good understanding of all the insurance company, uh, learn about the products, uh, how to draft the proposal for the clients, uh, financial plannings, how the claims procedure is going to work, how we're going to market thing, uh, all the uh, 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 insurance products and so so uh, you can see in the picture, I also attend the uh, annual dinner with my peers. Uh, it's a really uh, happy night. We network with lots of uh, celebrities, singers, and also we enjoy a great dinner right there. So um, the second internship was uh, I mentioned about is uh, I flew to London. I work as uh, international finance intern the National Churches Trust. So this is a, it's a trust for supporting all the ch churches and all the uh, community services in England. So at that time, I was uh, responsible to uh, manage the grants and loans program, asset management, uh, about uh, the social responsibility uh, of the companies in UK, and also to manage the trust funds. So in the uh, photos you can see, I, also, I usually have lunch meetings with my clients and uh, my boss in a nice hotel. And my all the colleagues are British ones, so uh, it's also a very really good place for you to uh, practice your communication skills uh, in English, uh, I mean in, in England. And uh, you can see in the picture on the right, uh, I actually uh, go on a field trip to supervise the uh, uh, renovation uh, projects that uh, we, we, we funded to, to, to a church. So you can see me uh, wearing the hat and climb up to the uh, rooftop and to supervise all the projects. So this is my fruitful experience in London. And the third one was I, uh, in 2019, I uh, joined it, the Private Wealth Management Association and to work as a private banking apprentice in a private bank. Uh, in that, uh, internship was really, really fruitful because I learned a lot of trading uh, techniques and all the knowledge about equities, bonds, ethics, funds, structure notes, premium financing, uh, how to manage the revolving loans, IPOs, procedures, um, all of kind of like KYC, anti-money laundry and all the kind of stuff. So I think this also uh, paving the way uh, for my future career uh, right now as a private banker, like a, a relationship officer right now. So uh, you can see right here in the photos, I was taking it uh, in front of my office and also my peers in, 2000, in, in class 2019. So uh, the fourth one will be exchange. So I also, also really recommend that if you got into a BU, you should go for exchange program to explore the world and to learn to be independent um, and also you can hone your language skills i mean you can go for go to germany you can go to england or even you can go to south korea so um, there's lots of opportunities for you guys to go so for me in 2007 i went to taiwan uh, at that time we networked with the taiwan university students to talk about this history and the development of the christianity culture in hong kong and taiwan and in 2018, I went to uh, did, did London to uh, 
to, to join the internship program. But at that time, we also uh, go around the city and to play around. So in the left hand side the picture, you can see I enjoy a British high tea with my peers. And in the weekends, I go to picnic in the St. James Park in London. So uh, it's a really fruitful and amazing summer in England. And after that, I went to Switzerland on my own. I go backpacking on myself. You can see in the photos, uh, I actually uh, took a photos at the bottom of the mountain. There's a lake right there. And I climbed the mountain on my own. And you can see in the right upper corner, there's the Titus mountain. I actually climbed to the top and play with the snow. So you can see that um, there's a lot of opportunities for us to explore the world and to, uh, to, to challenge ourselves. Like at the very beginning, I don't think I'm going to do it. And I don't going to think that I can actually climb up there with just limited clothes. But at the uh, very last, I, I can do it. And I can like know more myself more. Like uh, I'm really more uh, uh, strong enough. And uh, at that time on the journey, I speak with the uh, foreigners, the travelers to ask about like, hey, how to go that, go to that mountain where, 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 this head, where this road heading to. So it's also like pushing me to uh, step out of my comfort zone to network and to talk with people. So the five thing uh, is the case conditions. I think it's a really good thing for you guys to learn, to join because uh, it's uh, the opportunity to apply what you have learned in the classroom and to understand the real business world. Um, so for me in 2017, you can see in the picture, I actually won the second John Yu University uh, investment game. Uh, I invested in the real time stock, Hong Kong stock markets and won over 10 other universities. So can you imagine that uh, in your 18 years old, you can manage around uh, 1 million Hong Kong portfolio at your own and you can actually excel and beat all the uh, university students right there. Well, I mean in Hong Kong BU you can do it because uh, uh, thanks to our practical courses and all our practical assignments, you can actually uh, gain a lot of uh, exposures to it. So the second thing is the Dean's Cup Innovation Gym. Uh, that that competition is like a startup pitching. So I network, I, I joined a former group with my friends and to uh, do some pitching uh, about our startup ideas. So I think this is also a good opportunity uh, for me to uh, 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 change up, uh, to, to uh, sharpen my public uh, speaking skills. That is really uh, helpful and really good for your future careers. And uh, last year, I flew to the Chicago booth, U.S., to join the Southport University Partnership Program. And also, uh, our group was shortlisted by the Southport and uh, fully granted to study executive education in the Chicago booth. At that time, uh, I networked with the VCs, like the venture capitals and the entrepreneurs, to a uh, 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 share of, like, uh, what's the ideas going to be about, uh, what's the other uh, business opportunities out there. So in the photo, you can see like I'm pitching the venture capitals in the upper right hand corner. And at the very last time, we uh, praise our mentors uh, at, the, at the closing ceremony. So I think there's also some bonus tips for uh, the finance students to go for. Um, the, this is also a really good uh, recommendation for you guys. This is the mentorship. Um, I think uh, Hong Kong BU and uh, particularly in Hong Kong BU Finance, we got a really good mentorship and alumni network. Uh, they can really give you career advice, uh, like really tailor-made ones and really good for your personal growth. So in some of the photos right here, you can see I joined uh, different kinds of mentorship program. I got different mentors and I seek advice from them. So uh, I, I get to know myself better and to choose my, uh, my, my choose the career, which is really fit into my personality and my interest. So uh, up till now, I'm also got a really close uh, connections with them. So I think this is a lifelong guidance so uh, if you guys uh, come and study in Hong Kong BU, so you should uh, join the networking uh, activities from the mentorship program and our alumni network. Other colorful activities I'd like to share about is uh, in, in the 
like in in four years in Hong Kong BU, I was in the fencing team. Uh, you can see in the photos we go out to compete with other universities in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore. Um, there's a lot of good time for us to cultivate our team spirits and build a lot of very good and solid uh, brotherhood among us. So it's also a good place for us to strike a work-life balance because uh, sometimes studying is really hectic and really stress stressful. But uh, you've got the spots to uh, release your stress and to keep your uh, mind and body sound and healthy. Uh, that would be a really good thing for you to uh, uh, run in the university marathon. And also, uh, I know some of you guys will listen into listen to uh, tech talks, but can you imagine that you can actually organize a tech talks? So in Hong Kong BU, we got a TEDx Hong Kong BU uh, committee that you can join and to organize the tech talks in Hong Kong BU. Uh, in that time, I was the event management uh, event manager at that time, uh, lead the team to organize the, uh, the tech talks. And uh, it's a good place for us to learn to be a team player, to listen to others and to uh, how to uh, 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 cooperate with other other people. So to conclude, I think there are six things for finance students that you need to do when you are uh, studying university. So the first thing was study, uh, living in dormitory, internships, going to exchange program, uh, case competitions, and also join the mentorship program. So um, wish you all good luck and. Uh, 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 if you all are interested in business and finance, welcome to Hong Kong BU Finance Concentration. Thank you.